In this example, we're told the angle of depression from the top of a lighthouse to a boat is 14 degrees. If the top of the lighthouse is 100 feet above the surface of the water, how far is the boat from the base of the lighthouse? Round the answer to the nearest whole number. So the first thing we have to do is draw a picture. My pictures are pretty basic, very simple. So here is my lighthouse. And here is the water with our boat on it. So hopefully you can see the beginnings of a triangle. I have a horizontal line representing the surface of the water. I have a vertical line representing the distance from the top of the lighthouse to the water. And then finally, a line joining the top of the lighthouse to the boat. So these are going to form a right angle right in here. And I know the distance from the top of the lighthouse to the water is 100 feet. I also know the angle of depression from the top of the lighthouse to a boat is 14 degrees. Please be careful with the angle of depression. A lot of students want to make this angle in the triangle equal to 14 degrees. That is incorrect. The angle of depression is measured from the horizontal. So your eyes are out here going horizontally, and it's how far you depress or lower your eyes to then look at the boat. So this is where the 14 degrees is. So be very careful with that. But remember, the angle of depression from the lighthouse to the boat is equal to the angle of elevation from the boat to the lighthouse. So if I was on the boat and raised my eyes to look at the top of the lighthouse, I would raise them 14 degrees because both are measured from the horizontal and these are alternate interior angles of parallel lines crossed by a transversal. And the last piece of information I need to put on the diagram is how far is the boat from the base of the lighthouse. I'm going to use the variable x to represent the distance from the boat to the base of the lighthouse. That's this distance along there. So there's my x. And now in this right triangle, I know one angle, one side, I need to find a second side. So I need to use my mnemonic of Sokotoa, remember, which means sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. So looking at this angle, I have opposite side, I have an adjacent side. So that's going to be tangent. So I know that the tangent of 14 degrees here is going to be opposite over adjacent. So the tangent of 14 degrees equals the opposite side is 100. The adjacent side is x. So since the variable I'm looking for is in the denominator, I'm going to multiply both sides by x. And so I get x times the tangent of 14 degrees equals, these x's reduce, I just get 100. And now to get x by itself, I just have to divide both sides by the tangent of 14 degrees. These two tangent of 14 degrees reduce. I just get left with x equals 100 over the tangent of 14 degrees. And now I need to get my calculator, so I'm going to put the video on pause. Here is my calculator. It's a TI-84 plus silver edition. Make sure you check your mode. I need to be in degrees. 
I'm in radians, so scroll down over and hit enter. Now I'm in degrees. And now I need to put in 100 divided by the tangent. Here's the tangent of 14 degrees, close parentheses, and hit enter. So here's my answer. So my answer is... 401.078 dot 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 and it said round to the nearest whole number so that'd be this figure there so the zero is not going to affect it so I know that x equals 401 feet so my boat is approximately 401 feet from the base of the lighthouse.